ever come to an end? I know you're napping around here somewhere. On your feet and back to work already, yeah? Ugh, finally. Come on, sunshine, up and at him. Get up already! Ugh, I'm sorry. What's going on? What's going on? Did your head spring a leak while you were napping? Better see if you can even remember your name. Well, looks like there's hope for you yet. Back off, you sack of guts. I'm just resting up for the battle. Yeah, well, the battle's on our doorstep, so you're lucky I like you enough to wake you. You heard who we're up against, yeah? Geralt's mercenaries. Gonna be one hell of a fight if true, especially if the Ashen Demon is here. Don't like a smidge of what I've heard about that fella. Or was it a woman? Leave it to you to fumble the details. <laughs> Did you even catch this Ashen Demon's name? Of course I did. It was... Uh, by the goddess, it's right on the tip of my tongue. That's it. 
Demon or no demon, our job is to fight and win. <laughs> you sound just like the captain. I know they paid up front, but come on. Well, at least one of you has some courage. You've certainly come a long way since I plucked you from that mountain village. But this battle is about more than just victory. Gerald's team has a sterling reputation. Rumor has it they've never blundered even a single job. But once we put them to rout, we'll finally be the greatest mercenaries in all of Leicester. Enemy activity detected, Captain. Looks like we'll be fighting by moonlight. Mind you don't kill each other in the dark. Wasn't expecting a fight so soon, but I guess there's nothing for it. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Good luck, friend. And double to you. Let's get down to business. We're up against Gerald's mercenaries. Let's move out! Drive them straight into their graves! Time to see what you're made of. guys new recruits or something? Guess this means I can mess with them a little. Let's do this! 
take out the stronghold over this way, yeah? And get the one over there. Can't wait to wrap this up so we can all drown ourselves in ale. open. We still don't know if the Ashen Demon is here.
capture complete. Yeah? The captain ran off ahead of us. Is she gonna be okay? Yeah? Is here. We're saved! Now push! Push the enemy back! About time a foe with some teeth showed up. But they still don't stand a chance against Burling's mercenaries. Now isn't this a sight? You must be the infamous Ashen Demon. I can't wait to tear you apart. This will be the end of the Ashen Demon. No one can beat the captain. Yeah? It's too late. There's so many of them. Only one thing to do about that.
stand down or die. We're gonna stand, we're gonna fight, and we're gonna avenge the captain. Just one merc. Run! Run while you can! Yes, no! This can't be happening! of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. You get that power. When it's my true power. No idea, but it's just what I need to bring you down. <laughs> Entirely different person. That's enough. We did what we came to do. Everyone, fall back. What? Take this. Sorry, but this fight is over. Hey, wait! Why? We've achieved our goal. Your job was to stop us, and you failed. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. Hey, we're not done here! <clears throat> wait, why am I... so... tired?
Huh? Where am I? Oh good, you're awake. Not sure I would have been able to sleep at night with your <laughs> blood on my hands. Yeah. Am I dead? No, uh, not yet. And you're not a good listener either. Did I not just say how pleased I am that you're still alive? Regardless, I'm a being who exists on the edge of dreams and reality. You may call me Arval. Arval, huh? But for now, let me speak plain. You are slated to die. Right now, I'm the only thing holding your meager life together. And to be blunt, it's beginning to tire me. Um, thank you? Oh, oh my, that's the first time anyone has ever shown me gratitude. And I must say, I like it very much. Hear me well, you are a crucial piece of this world's cyclical... Yeah, uh, no, this will never do. You're far too groggy to absorb what I'm saying. For now, I needn't tell you how you'll get back on your feet. I need only convince you that you will. Is this a dream? I remember collapsing, but then... You're half right, which also means you're half wrong, but full marks for effort. Still, the important thing is what you do after you wake. And what should that be? Recall, please, how the Ashen Demon bested you, came within an inch of snuffing out your life. If you attempt the fight again the same way, you will reach the same conclusion. This would force me to step in once more, which would be most annoying and also rather counterproductive, if I'm honest. You don't need to worry. I won't lose next time. Although, who's to say when that time will come? Who indeed? My captain and comrades are dead. The company is finished. So, there's only one thing I can do. Start over. Huh. I thought you'd be more sentimental. Did they not take you in? Care for you? Gold's the only thing that ever held us together. And death is something we're all too used to. I never knew my real parents, and I lost the mother who raised me. Partings just come easy to me, I guess. The best way to honor my fallen comrades is by training hard and growing even stronger. Then I'll crush Gerald's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon with them. That's what I'm going to live for now. Oh, but I like your spirit. Though I expected no less from my partner in destiny. I'm sorry, what? Yes, I suppose that was a bit sudden. I should remember, take intimacy in smaller steps. The point is that I'm here to guide you. And I promise to help you find the strength to see your dreams realized. Prologue. A chance encounter. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a goddess, has existed for uncountable ages. Now, three ruling powers control the land. To the south is a region held for more than a thousand years by the Adrestian Empire. To the north is the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. And to the east, a league of nobles that bends no knee rules the Leicester Alliance. Though once consumed in war, 
These three powers now exist in relative harmony. Nestled between them is Garag Mach Monastery, seat of the Church of Saros, the land's widely practiced faith and a power that helps to maintain peace across the continent. Not far from the monastery, at the northern edge of the empire, is a small village called Ramire, and west of this place stretches a forest where a lone mercenary awaits.